Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. What am I doing repairing a front weight for 54 euros? Have I been smashing it into things and I've like weakened this up here so we've had to take the bolts off of there and weld up this? That's what we've had to do. We've had to weld up one of these here, one of the, the three-point linkage bits. That That's where the money has is, is disappeared to in that. This one here, though, 6,689 to repair it. Now, if I don't repair it at all, the tractor runs slower, and it basically runs at a lower horsepower. It would be like running it with dirty fuel filter, dirty oil filter, that kind of thing. It's not good. It's going to shorten the life of the tractor. It is a huge amount of money because we, um, but I'm going to do it anyway. We need to keep these things repaired. We need to keep them running. And I, I like this game. That I, I like that the game has running costs like this. So those 6,600, now you might argue that's a bit high. I would counter argue that that damage comes along in a space of one in-game year. So like we've done a full service on the tractor. With new filters all the way through. So there's a diesel filter, a water trap, a fuel filter, a, a oil filter in there as well. We've drained the oil out of the engine and replaced it with fresh. Um, the air filter on here, depending on where you live, some places you rarely have to change an air filter on an engine. Other places, I mean, with an old tractor like this, you probably wouldn't. Um, a lot of places I worked they would take the filter out and they would uh, tap it out. You tap the outside edges of the filter and get all the dust out and then pop the filter back in again. But that was a dual filter system. And when the inner filter gets clogged, then you replace both filters. And so the outside filter, by tapping it out each day, it actually lengthens the time before you need to buy new filters. Other places I've been they've insisted on a brand new filter every time um, and that gets rather expensive so you know you, you kind of like look at it both ways but I never had any issues with dust in the cab by tapping the filters out uh, but yeah so all of that has been done we've greased the tractor up it's all ready to go the only thing we haven't done is wash it off but we don't have pressure washer we've now only got 600 euros so we can't afford to do that anyway right then we are Pretty much ready to go. We've got a thousand litres of water. Is that enough? Is that going to keep them going for a while? Yeah, that'll be alright. They'll be fine. And they're both full of food. So we've got no worries at all with sheep, with food, everything else. They've got their wool coming in. And I'm not going to bother taking wool down the mountain. I suppose I could take a bit of wool down the mountain, but it's a long trip. And I don't really want to. Because we haven't got very much here. Alright, let's get some sleep and then we can get started on this hay. I'm planning on cutting quite a big area. This Well, not hay, sorry. Um, silage. We're doing silage. It'll be silage bales. I'm planning on cutting quite a large area this time. Here we are. May. We're down to 293 euros. That is all we have left. What is our vehicle leasing? It said vehicle leasing costs, but I think that is, yeah, it's just the forklift. It's because we used the forklift yesterday, that's why. Um, it belongs to the shop, but we, we sort of pay, pay a stipend to the shop to be able to use the forklift when we need it. Uh, all right. Everything looks good in here. Everything looks good up here. They got plenty of food. We don't need to worry about them. The wool is fine. It's looking after itself. Uh, we don't need to worry about the honey either. I was thinking about doing a bit of grass over here, but I'm not going to do that. We are going to head into the higher meadows. Now, I usually try to run the game on five times speed, so we'll switch it to that. And we'll take a look at the weather forecast in a minute. So it's bright and sunny all day. This is perfect May silage weather. You could not ask for better than this. Um, I went to all the trouble of repairing that front weight and we spent like 50 euros doing it and we're not actually going to have the front weight anywhere near us for the duration of this silage. Actually we might. When we come to be using that trailer and carrying the silage around it might actually be a good idea if we go and put the, um, the front weight on before we start dragging him around. We'll see how we feel when we get to that point. 
Now, the only bit that's, like, properly time-consuming with this is the baling part. Because I think the mowing, we can get that going. Uh, we'll do, like, the outside rounds and we'll get a good area set up and started. And let's bring that one up and then we can swing out around. There we go. We get this going up here. Get this started on uh, mowing our meadow up the top there. And once we get going with that... We can let the hired help carry on. Then we can come back, we can get our John Deere tractor and we can get the rake on. We can get started on that bit. And then really, then we wait for the mowing to get finished. And then once the mowing is finished, we then go and get our baler on. And we go and start doing some stuff with the baler. Uh, so I can bring this one up here like this. Unfold. Unfold. Have the controls on the front one there. Now, for some reason, we've got three-point link, but we don't have a PTO on the front of the tractor there, despite the fact that the front mower does run just fine. So there's no PTO that you can see, but it does actually run. So it, it does work as though there is a PTO there. I don't know if there is or isn't in the actual game. There's one thing I do want to check. We're here. That bit in the middle, this patch right here, isn't going to mow off. I don't want to plow it or anything like that, no, because I can't be bothered. Um, but yeah, the, the mower will end up going over it anyway. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to start both of them up. That's control B, starts both of them, and then control V will lower both of them down. You can't windrow them or anything like that. And off we go. Start our mowing. This is going to be a big job. I'm going to mow a nice large area of grass here. And we're going to get a decent amount of bales from this. Now, obviously, there's no fertilizer anywhere on any of this. There's nothing we can do about that. We could go and we can roll it once we're done. So we'll be able to get that roller that we've got. And we can go over all of this with a roller. Depending on where I go now. Will also affect how much is done with the hired help. Because of where the outside edges of the field itself are. I don't want to get too close to the road. So I want hired help doing as much of this as possible. Like I said, I'm going to do a big area. Because I reckon at this, uh, we've got the grain that's growing in the field. This here is going to ultimately pay for the um, tailor that we want to buy. We need to buy a tailor and we need to have a couple of pallets. Now, I said episode 75 and I'm pushing episode 60 now. So we're running out of time. I'm supposed to do this within the 75 episodes, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that, so I may end up having a large loan as a penalty when I go and start the next series, and that's going to make life difficult, because the early stages, it's difficult to make money any way at all, really. I mean, like, we've proved now with greenhouses, you can make a decent bit of money with the greenhouses, but you've got to be able to buy them. And that's where it gets difficult. Okay, I probably started a little bit too far back, but that's fine. Let's bring you in like that. And then I'll move into the inner round. So I'm going to do once more right the way round like this. And then I'm going to set the hired help going. And I'm going to hope that the hired help can do all of the rest of the mowing. Of this large area. This is actually quite a big chunk that I've taken out. I mean, the tractor's not necessarily the fastest tractor, but he's, he's doing all right with this. He's doing a pretty good job of it. I think we will get all of the rest of it with the hired help without us having to like go and tidy up very much. So won't need to worry about it like leaving big chunks of it behind. 
it's going to be easier for doing the next round. The only bit is going to be right here. That's easy enough. I can just come up to that bit there and pick that up there. Okay, so it's left a little tiny bit. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. It does bug me that that's still standing there, but I'm still going to leave it. I'm still not going to do anything about it. The only issue we've got, I just realised, hired help takes money. It costs money to run hired help, and I've only got 293 euros. I'm not going to be able to afford hired help, and I'm desperately going to want it. Like, it's going to be enough that i got to go over this entire area with the baler. I definitely don't want to be manually having to do all the mowing and all the raking up here. That is just going to take too long. So we're going to need to get a contract job or two and earn a bit of money. So it's going to be quite important that we're able to go and do that. We'll have a look at that in a second. So I'm going to bring you over here and that's the angle that we're going to want to be at. Kind of there. So I'll back up a bit. Take that out there. Right, I'm going to set the hired help going here. See that it gets the right angle. Unfortunately, it's going to do that. It's already trying to stop. So I'm going to need to go around a third time. By the look of it. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Because I am going to want this hired help, and I know already that I'm going to want hired help, I'm going to need something. There's a whole load of spraying jobs here. And then the supply and transport. There's a fertilizer job there. That's 4,000. Or 800, less 867. Now, my fertilizer spreader does a fantastic job. It's an absolutely amazing one. Field 11, 16, uh, 19. Field 19, that's the one that's right next to the yard. We also need to fill it with herbicide. Unfortunately, I can't afford to buy anything of herbicide, which means that I can't do any of those jobs. How am I going to do that then? I can't afford to buy a thing. I've got 290 euros. That's it. That's everything I own. There is a cultivating job there that gets me a thousand. I lose half of it. And by the time I pay the wages, I'm working at a loss. That's no good. I don't have enough fertilizer to be able to go and do that unless I unhitch this tractor, run it down the mountain, go to field 12, do the fertilizer on field 12, which is there, that great big long one. Might be enough fertilizer down there to do that job. I might end up having to do that, you know. Hmm. We might be able to do that. All right. I'm going to accept contract rather than borrow items. Because our fertilizer spin is better. Accept that contract. So that was now active. I'm going to start this one back up. I've got 290 euros. Go down. Go. I do need to go around once more because otherwise the hired help is going to skip over the open area there and it's going to start trying to mow bits that I don't want it mowing and that's just going to end up causing us problems so I'm going to do this and go around one extra time once I've done this I'll put hired help going here and then we're going to drive our John Deere down the mountain with the fertilizer spinner on it because there's only a small quantity of fertilizer down there at the yard and I'm hoping that's going to be just enough to do field 12. If it's not, then we're in trouble. Because I won't have any alternatives. I would have used up every possible option available to me. I will not have any other options. I'm going to start the hide help working from this top end. 
Because that 290... The only thing I'll be able to do is sell machinery. That's literally the only thing that I can do is sell off a bit of machinery in order to buy fertilizer and then cover hired help costs. But as soon as I've done that one fertilizer job, I will have the money that I need to pay the hired help to do these jobs up here. And that, yeah, that, that's a good thing. We, we, we want to be able to do that. But it's getting to that point. That's going to be the tricky bit. I've also got to make sure when I'm doing the job up here that I don't let any bales go tumbling off down the mountain there because they're not going to be stopping until they get right to the bottom and we don't really want that. So this one here, let's drop you down. And you can go like that. And I'll basically just sort of cross over here, just kind of like take out a little bit there, and this is also going to be where the hired help is going to be used, so I want to come in over this way, and it sort of goes in that direction, like that, so that's where it's going to end up going. I'm now looking on the mini-map, and I've got to get that lined up straight. As long as that's lined up straight, I think it's actually slightly like that. So I might want to come down here a little bit. Let's go here. Move you down. That's about right there, I think. If I press H here... Go on through. He'll lower down. He'll do one tiny little bit there, and then he'll pick up, and he'll go on through again. Right, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to just watch it while it turns round, and then we're going to go and jump in the other one. It is already ticking through, eating into our available cash. I need this to do just like a couple of passes here, really, until it's opened up this, and then we've got the other little bit that we're going to start working on over on the other side, and we'll go, we'll work up the hill. I didn't think I was going to do it the other way around. Work down the hill, but I don't think I will. That goes through there and takes those bushes out. And then you're going to come through, turn round. She's going to turn around about there. Down to 270. Okay, let me go over to this tractor and I'll go and get that fertilizer spinner on. Unload the lime. I really hope this tractor is actually capable of taking that fertilizer spinner at all. Like, it might not be. Loaded to the gunnels, it definitely can't. We already know that. Hmm. That's not looking very promising, is it? That's, um, that's half full, mind. Let me empty it out. Right. Empty, he's fine. He can do it. So, we, we know that we can do that while he's empty. This one has come out this side now and lowered down again. So he should now go all the way over to the other side of the field. That's what I'm hoping he's going to do. He's going to lift up the back mower just here in a second. Go on up there and he's going to lift up that back mower. And then he'll go on a little bit further. And now he's going to lift that one and he's going to go on forwards. Don't try and don't try and turn. I don't want you to try and turn. I want you to go over this way. Like that. I want you to get to there. And then I'm going to use the hired help once again and go in here. And he should now do both bits. He's probably gonna want some help to do both bits. So again, we will. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do to make sure he does bring up and through and I bring up and through and then I'll take the hired help off and I bring this one around like that and I will manually do these bits drop that in on there there we go and we can go back over this way 
just in case it's not fully lined up over there. I mean, I think it is actually in our favour over this side. So we go up to here. That one will lower in and he will start running along there. The next mower will drop down like that and he goes all the way up through. Off you go. All the way up there like that. And then the next one will come through. Now, my question is, will the hired help lift out, go forward and try and turn round? Or will it go on and then lower the mower back down again and keep going with the field? And he's going to lower in and he's going to keep going with the field. So we started the other one slightly crooked, so he's just going to keep going like this. ideal okay right that's gonna carry on there i need to get back down to the bottom we're gonna go the dangerous way oops that way like that bounce through here we're going the dangerous way we're gonna get the little tiny bit of fertilizer that's left in the yard down there i don't know how much there is there it's Probably not enough, but I don't have enough money to go and buy anything else. At this point, we have no money left. The only thing we can do is come to an arrangement with the dealership and get them to come up and buy one of our implements. I think we've still got the log grab up there, sitting there by somewhere. It's like 3,000 euros. And doing this whole contract, I could probably have just sold them that one. It might have been an easier way to do this, but we're committed now. We, we've committed to this, and this is what we're going to try. Let's see if we can't make our money. So we're down to 162. At least the mowing is being done as we speak. So there's going to be a whole load of mowing done. That will be finished, and then once we get back up there, we can get started on the next bit, which is going to be the raking. This tractor here is going to be doing the raking. So we want to hurry up and get this um, fertilizer contract done so that we can get started on that raking work. I also need to buy fuel for this tractor. So while we're down here, obviously not before we do the fertilizer job, because we still want that money to be paying the hired help. Go through here and... I was prepared this time. Look at that. Off we go again. Um, once we've done the contract and we've got the money back for it, then we can see about getting... I was just thinking, yeah, then we can see about um, getting the fuel. Um, I was just thinking, I don't think I have got the logging fork up there. I, I was thinking I got a yellow thing up there. It's a logging fork. That's not, though, is it? That's the stone collection bucket. And I'm probably going to want that one. Unless I can actually get the... Um, unless I can actually get the sheep and everything all finished this winter. I'm probably going to want that. Okay, let's load this one up. What do we got? 200 litres. I really don't think that's going to be enough. AI worker A has completed... I very much doubt he's completed anything at all. Not even close. He did a big long run all the way down through there. I mean, I suppose credit where it's due. That was a complicated straight line there. Could have been a lot worse. I could have given up even before that. Right, uh, let's bring you to... That's going to be... I want to bring it up a bit higher than that, I think. Let me go here. Something like that. Right, there's your straight line from here. He's going to drop that one down there, and... Just missing uh, the line of grass right there. That's probably why he's going so slow. Wondering whether or not he should drop the mower. That one can carry on there. Okay, that's excellent. 200 litres of fertiliser. 4%. 
I don't think this is going to be enough, but I don't want to buy another 1,000 litres of fertiliser and take it. So I'm going to take this down to field 12, and we will see if, you know, it would probably help if I picked the fertiliser spinner up to do this. Rather than dragging it along the ground, or I'm going to find that I'm going to be getting a bill from the dealership over there for retarmacking the entire car park what I've just that, that I've just gone completely and utterly destroyed for them <laughs> really not going to be pleased about that are they okay is 197 liters fertilizer going to be enough to do that huge great big long field if we were doing this with a standard fertilizer spinner no it definitely wouldn't be enough but this fertilizer spinner is not a standard fertilizer spinner. This one is a very special one that is very good at being efficient and only applying fertilizer where it's needed. Don't ask me how it works. I don't really understand the complexities of it all. But as I said before, we're taking this as just a stroke of really good fortune the fact that our fertilizer spinner does this and we're getting paid ridiculous amounts to do the fertilizer jobs um technically i suppose we should be getting a different mod to do it but yeah i don't want to okay off we go and I can bring that over this way. Let's try and get this as efficient as possible. I don't have very much fertilizer, but I also believe that two passes is going to be enough on the field. And the rate at which we're using it means that we should be able to get this job done without too much trouble. 175 liters left. 200, 200 liters of fertilizer. I did not think would be enough to do this field. I really didn't. But apparently it is. Let's not complain. I may be able to get another contract. I've got 30 euros left. I suspect that we are going to run out of money before we run out of field and we can cash in on this particular job. So I'll bring you all the way down here so that we scoot out that corner like that. There we go. And now we head back up. We're down to 18 euros. Money's disappearing fast. I'm not using hired help on this. This one I'm doing myself. Yeah, easily in two passes. Contract is 72%. I will drive all the way to the end of the field. Using up fertilizer as we do it. It's going to be pretty close as to... I mean, yes, yeah, so we are going to run out of money before we finish the job. But, oh, <laughs> we just went... Past 10 o'clock, so we got a couple of extra euros thrown in because of the payment that we get on the cell phone tower that we've got right up at the very top on the, the mobile phone tower that we've the, the mast that we've got up there. So there's the contract finished, and there I have finished, and we have now run out at almost exactly the same time that we finished the job completely. So, I mean, that was actually pretty good timing. So, I'll collect that one right there. I've got no more here. I can refresh contracts. I've lost all the spraying jobs by refreshing the contracts. I haven't done... I haven't, nothing else has changed. We've got 94 litres of fertiliser left. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.